Ethan is building his dream shop, a 60 by 40 steel structure so we can build crazier and bigger machines. This week, we're finishing out the entire exterior, cutting in some windows and building a custom lock. So the shop may look mostly finished at this point, but there are many steps to go. Uh, first of which is soffits and trim. Starting to move along though. That's some premium audio. <laughs> I had to pre drill that one because it's through the beam. These little uh, screw tips don't really go through quarter inch plate too easily. soffit piece huh it's the last piece of flat metal going on here throw back down it's like Lord of the Rings light it is <laughs> Jeez. This, is, this is nice this is very nice I was thinking you should tell the guys why they should go to Scent and Bent and listen to the new podcast. It's premium. We talk about how it feels getting ran over by a hell yeah brother truck. It's called Scent and Bent. It's available everywhere there's podcasts. So every Monday it's coming to iTunes, Spotify, it's on Google. Spotify? Yeah. Premium. All of them. And then it comes on the video version on YouTube Wednesdays. Subscribe to it on your preferred platform because we're posting every single Monday and the video versions every single Wednesday. So the links are below. Yeah, go check it out. We have a lot of fun talking about random things and uh, the more people that watch it, the more we can do it. And this coming Monday, we're gonna be talking about a weird cheese factory in the middle of nowhere and almost dying on the top of a mountain. Hopefully. <laughs> Less and less of our podcasts are about you almost dying. No, every podcast is going to turn into that because I just have like, I'll go a month or two and then I'll have another situation and it will go on the podcast. So I think the podcast is really cool because it gives you guys an inside look into what we do like outside of Grind Hard, which is really cool. We found a new game with Bjorn because we've never had this much flat, bouncy ground before. He's not used to it. Come here. Watch. Pay attention. He thinks I'm gonna throw it out there. 
He hasn't figured out how to chase the bouncing ball yet. I'm essentially making a weird shaped drill bit here. It's interesting. If you notice it's looking a little orange today, that's because it is. Because the world's on fire! Actually, look at the roof. Well, you can see the ash. Oh my. Let me pull, like, pull up the Onyx off-road app here and look at the... Oh. <laughs> Granted, that's Canada, but look at this. Look. Oh my. Yikes. The world is burning. The firefighters would be proud. We already have a perimeter set. Yeah, it's for real though. If fire truck and firefighters showed up here, they'd be like, well, our job is done here. Moving on. Straight to mineral soil perfect circle all the way around all the structures. Well, except for the green shed, but I don't care about the green shed. Uh, two years ago, it was like, you could see it. Yeah, you could see the smoke like coming up no, over the tree. No, you could see the fire. Yeah, like, I remember that. If you climbed that. the tree there, you could see the fire. That was a little bit frightening. That was deeply concerning. Chris is working on the garage door while Aza and I are doing the trim and stuff, finishing up the trim on the outside. Why does Chris look so funny driving that? Because he's six foot six. He loves it. He goes up the road to, he lives just up the road, so when he goes home to eat lunch, he, uh, he likes to take that little electric car. You like our OSHA approved pallet stack on top of the skid steer yeah, forks? I'm a big fan, actually. It gives us just enough height to get up to this corner. The middle span we can get with the ladder is easy enough, but out here at the corner, there's nowhere to put the ladder, and this is where the most detail happens because all the pieces meet. So it's nice to have a big platform to stand on. It's just a really annoyingly complex design because of the way these ribs or these uh, trims have this pointiness. I mean, it looks all right, but if they were just straight, it'd be so easy to just fold the corners over and make it nice. But instead we got all these little dumb little cap pieces that have to like magically line up perfectly. I just love that big blue limousine. It makes me so happy every day I, I see know. it. I know, you love it more than anyone. It's I hilarious. Really do. I mean, it is a pretty great machine. It's but... like my role model. I want a picture, like a poster of it across the- You should the... set it as the background to your phone. Your wife will love it. Yeah, I've never had her as the background of my phone. Right now it's Will and New York. <laughs> Wait, I right forgot that it's... it was Will. Wait, yeah, scroll to the, yeah. to the show the- your cover like, photo on Facebook as well, well, also? Yeah. She's like, you never make me your cover photo or background. I'm like, but this is Will in front of the Tesla. It's sunset. It's premium. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, but You're about like, this is a nice photo. <laughs> yeah, I took this cool photo. Oh. Yeah. We got to tell Edwin about our uh, loft plan. Oh, yes. Okay. We were, we were trying to figure out the loft and everything because we got we to gotta put these windows in. The electrical panel kind of had to go there because that's where the power comes in. Okay. And then we need stairs up into the loft, which the only place that makes any sense for stairs is going to go through here. But the stairs can't, like we would have had to move the electrical panel because the stairs would have gone oh. across them. And then if we moved the stairs and the panel, then we didn't have any space for windows. Mm -hmm. So we decided instead, <clears throat> 
we're building an elevator. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to have a little platform here, like a little four by four platform. Uh -huh. So you can just walk onto it and then just go up to the top. Nah, it's like an electric motor. Yeah, just a like winch. A winch. Just yeah. an nice. AC winch. I've built a couple of them before. And I, I just built one in Mexico last year. But really? For somebody with a wheelchair so they could get up and down. Oh. So grind hard will be wheelchair accessible. Exactly. So this one, much like the upper one, is meant to have these two sort of come together, you know, like that. Because of the way, we, you know, because we put these on first and just kind of left it as long as the metal, the roofing metal, I think that actually the way to make it look better and is much easier is to just put this one on under here so that caps it off from this side. It's a little, it takes a little finagling to get it in there, but like that, basically. And then I'll trim this bottom leg down to that angle of this, but then leave the top long like this. And then it's got this little happy bit that goes in there and fills that in. But I think that all looks, it looks cleaner. And from the side, from the side, it'll look way better. Party time, yay, yay, party, whoa. That's the quietest I've ever heard you. Yeah, we finished all the trim and the siding and the stuff, except for all the other stuff. Well, now it's done. Yes, exactly, now it's done. That's not going anywhere. Getting ready to finish up this garage door. I got the uh, rack up here. trimming while I'm up here. We have a door that opens. Look at that. Looks like it opens pretty nicely. Now we can get light in there again with all the doors closed and without the windows installed yet. <coughs> Gets pretty dark in there. So yeah, next up, install the windows across the front. Oh, nice. And then we start building the loft with this gigantic beam that just showed up. plates for the end of the beam that's going to hold up the loft in the new shop using the arc droid. And for the first time in a long time, I'm using the trace feature. This is a really basic shape and I can just mark it out on the plate here. Uh, this is half inch 
plate, so we'll see how well it's gonna cut. Breaker tripping. <laughs> oh. That's okay. It'll take a couple tries, but uh, you know, new shop will have bigger breakers and we won't have this problem. Like the plasma cutter can do it, but getting the feed rates right and the torch height right and everything else just right is a little trickier than when you're dealing with normal thicknesses. Boy, it's fun moving around a 30-foot beam that weighs 800 pounds. stressful. I could have moved my truck, I suppose, but, you know, that worked. Nice. That was very satisfying. Yeah, that looks like a good uh, base for a table or something. Allowed beam. It's also the uh, pull up beam. That looks pretty nice. Oh, you know what that'll be really handy for? Pulling lifting stuff. Oh, you know? Yeah. If you want to like park something under here and pick it up with a, you know, straps or chain. Well, we got our beam in, all bolted up tight, and uh, we're getting ready for the floor joists to go on here. We realized we need an extra one over here to hold the edge of the plywood. And then we did a stupid and put this here nice and flush with the top of this. I told you we did it wrong. No, you didn't. <laughs> you never said a word. So this is, uh, this is the height of sh the, the beam. It needs to be the height of sheeting. We got our beam all laid out for our joists and the joists should be showing up on a truck here any minute. You can see we got holes drilled every 16 inches so we can screw uh, through this beam up into the, into the floor joists. We got that end all laid out as well because the other end of the joist sits on top of the concrete wall there. We're going 16 on center so that we can get a shorter joist. You can see they're not very tall. So that way we have more headroom up in the loft. That's my favorite part about those things. 
the way the tires articulate. The fact that it can drive sideways. Straight crap. We ordered 26 feet. I think this is a lot more than that. Yeah, that's 30 feet. 30 feet, one inch. Well, we can put them up there, full length, and then figure out how much overhang we want and then cut them off. about building with metal and like really beefy chunks of metal and wood combined. It just looks good. Really Just come yeah, over here. Under that tree. Where? It's an extra special kind of bug. What the devil is that? Look you at see it. it. It's giant and green. Is that a real bug? Yeah, oh look, my it gosh. Moves. Dude, I heard aliens would be coming. I just didn't know this soon. <laughs> look, what is this? No, oh, no, no. Don't eat oh. it. Just sniff it. What is it? Don't eat it. It's alive. Leave it alone. What do you Whoa, think it is, dog? It large. Some kind of moth, maybe? That looks right? like a longhorn noodle beetle. That is horrifying. Where? That's crazy because that means there's more of those things around here. Poor little guy, he doesn't have his winter jacket on. Usually they have like jackets or like, you know, fur coats. So uh -huh. that one's just cold. Dude, that is crazy. Have you ever seen the movie Bug Life? I think it is. Bugs Life? Yeah, that. Yeah. There's a caterpillar that looks just like this, I think, in Bugs Life. You never know, that might be like a beetle eating fly or something, you never know. Actually, I was thinking we could use these for our blocking. Well, yesterday we did all the visually exciting and sudden progress stuff of putting up all the joists. Now this morning is the more slow and tedious blocking and cutting and making all the little supports for all the weird bits. Like over there we blocked in around where the garage door is gonna go. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the doors, the plan is to make the door lift vertically straight up into the loft. So that's just the, uh, the cutout for the door to fit through. So. Oh, nice. start sheeting but first we gotta cut a hole in the floor here for an elevator we're gonna have an elevator right here just like that see visualize the tape measure now imagine a platform with a person on it <laughs> just like that that's gonna be so premium so anyway um, we figured out how we're gonna frame it we're gonna cut out this uh, this floor joist and this floor joist so the elevator will go from here back to kind of the wall-ish. Nice. I 
like your uh, head brace or something. Yeah, it worked rather well. Here you go. <laughs> Every day, I'm gonna go. <laughs> You're thinking ahead, Ethan. You're making this place wheelchair friendly for me. <laughs> oh no, Will, that's not what we want. <laughs> this is huge, though. This loft is so yeah. much bigger than I was thinking. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a lot of space. We're gonna put the wall right about here. So sick up here, dude. You can already imagine the kind of shenanigans we'll get up to. Really hold them in Have you much woodworking? Um, besides oh, yeah, building my bus, this, this not really. No Loctite required. Nice. the job since the day I was born. Laying wood, screwing screws. Come on, just slide in there. For this last half sheet row here, because we need to pull it this way, I gotta go make a custom tool. And it'll kind of look a little bit like Stephen's cane here. Nice. It'll go like this, and then we'll hook it around there, and then it'll have a little flat piece you can hit with a hammer about out here. So, I gotta go get a couple pieces of scrap metal. We'll be able to slam that. Super duper overkill, but that'll make it less boingy and clangy. Wow, that works. 